In this tutorial, I want to cover how to do basic dimensioning of a part. Now, all your dimensioning should be done on, or let's say most of your dimensioning will be done on the part file, and it's most convenient there. Uh, there are several advantages to dimensioning. One is that uh, you can actively edit um, dimensions as you go and to see if you actually dimension the part right when you created it. Uh, there's also the feature of being able to retrieve that dimension data in different files of a solid edge or different solid edge files. So if you were in an assembly or draft view, you could retrieve that data easily there and not repeat dimensioning process. So here you can see they actually default dimension in the y direction. They said this was 25 millimeters. Um, up here are your dimensioning tools and most of the dimensions I do are with the smart dimension and so if you'd want to say dimension this thickness here I could just click on this edge and it will I can drag this dimension wherever I want but I'll just place it here by clicking and you can also see that an edit window comes up and I can edit the thickness here now there are different or ways I can ex uh, extend this uh, I can extend it in the direction of this arrow or I can click this other arrow and I can extend the thickness in that direction but and also I can symmetrically uh, expand that dimension so let's just expand in that direction for for now and we'll want to expand this say to 30 millimeters and now you can see this side is thicker than this side they were symmetric but I just expanded it in that in that um, direction. Uh, there's also other features here in dimensioning that you can dimension between points if you can't select the right thing with the smart dimension. Uh, there's angles and other various tools. Now there's also the option of locking a dimension. So let's click, let's quick uh, dimension this circle here. So I'm on the smart dimension feature and I will select this circle and it comes up as the radius of 30 millimeters. Now how to lock dimension you just click this lock button here and now it's closed so it's locked. Click the select button and you can also see that this dimension is red as opposed to these two being blue. That means they are not locked. So reasons to lock a dimension would be if I want to have this radius constant um, I could also lock dimensions of where this circle is centered about. So if I'd be editing it and I don't want that circle to change, I could lock specific dimensions to enable me to do so.